Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Doug Baldwin. You may know me as a Seattle Seahawk, but what you don't know um, is that I come from Pensacola, Florida. It's a small town. You may have never heard of it. However, the most uh, significant part of that for me was growing up in a beautiful facility in the back end of the Salvation Army that became my second home. The people there, the programs there, they cultivated this environment that has allowed me to be the man that I am today. Um, and I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for that facility. So I'm coming to you today with an ask of uh, $1.5 million in the capital budget. I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, we're building a facility here in Cascade Benson area in Renton. Uh, when I moved here in 2011, I fell in love with this area. I fell in love with the people. I fell in love with the environment. I fell in love with everything about it. Um, and I wanted to do something special to give back to the community that embraced me once I got here. And I noticed that once I spent time in the community, there was a lot of kids who really had nothing to do after school. There was not much of a facility and there wasn't much of services in this area. So um, I'm coming to you today to ask you to help us build that facility, that, uh, that second home, that place that people can feel safe, vulnerable, and become better people for uh, not only our city, but our society. So we've raised $8.5 million already. I've personally put in a million of my own money. Uh, the city of Renton has generously uh, put in $4 million as well. A local bank has offered $3 million to help build this facility, and a number of different organizations have partnered with us as well. And I'm coming to you asking you for $1.5 million in the capital budget. I know it's tight this year, uh, but this is a community that needed this, these services and this facility last year, uh, yesterday. Uh, so we're trying so desperately and so um, diligently to get this up and running as soon as possible. Again, I know that it's a tight budget, but it's important that we get this done. So again, asking for $1.5 million. From the $8.5 million, we put that together, and we can say that we will uh, begin construction of this uh, facility early as next year if we can get that. You know, this is a, a plea to you all asking you for your help because, uh, again, this community needs it more now than ever. So thank you.